Okay, on this uh, interview of Ask an Archer, we're very excited and happy to have uh, Yuhua Zhang, who is uh, based in Taiwan, Taipei, and he is an uh, expert bow maker of composite bows, in fact. And uh, in this special interview, Yuhua is going to show us many of his bows that he has made, uh, talk about his research of bow making and some exciting uh, plans he has about home bow production. So he will explain all that. So Yuhua, welcome and thank you for meeting with me. Thank you, Jehet. No problem. Uh, Yuhua, just give us a very short introduction about uh, your background, how you started in archery or bow making, please. Uh, I was start making home bow in 2002, mm -hmm. like, which is 18 years ago. And and in, in the beginning, I was, I was very interested in the traditional bows, but uh, since nobody, nobody here can teach me, no, nobody at that time. Mm. And, 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 and when I was uh, studying as a student in America, I, I happened to uh, uh, see a, a, a magazine called Primitive Archer. And the bow cover is a piece of home bow and it's made by Yap Copen Dry. Ah, oh, really? Yap Copen Dry. Okay, okay very I, good. Yeah. I call him up and then, <laughs> uh, and then a uh, few years later, I, I came back to Taiwan and, and I, I, I decided to do my research. I bought a, a, about 2,000 of antique, antique Qing Manju, Manju bows. Oh, wow. And I restore some of the bows, and I I just uh, cut open and 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 I done the research. Wow! Wow! For did, those bows and the bows. Did you did you have to to learn yourself, or were you in contact with Yap and he was helping you? No, no, no. Uh, actually, uh, uh, Lucas Novatin helped me. More. Ah, very good. Okay. I, I met him in the uh, Denton here. 2002. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, Lucas was the first person I did interview with. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay, and then from then? And then, then I, at that time, still working as engineer, in like a semiconductor engineer. Mm. It's nothing to do with this traditional handicraft. And, yeah. but, but this is my, my, my passion, you know. Right. I love yes. this. This traditional archery, I love this, uh, this stuff. And mm. but since I cannot buy, nobody make it, nobody teach me. So I, I decided to, to try myself. Mm. Okay, but I'm lucky. You know, I never ever make any mistake for wow. learning how to make a bow. Uh -huh. You know, for example, I never, I never use raw material. I never mm. uh, fail. You know, mm. and, and 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 actually, I ha I still have my first home bow. Here. Wow, and 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 you can still use it. It's still working. Yes, still working. Yes, it, it was built in two thousand one. Wow. So none none of your bows you made ever broken or damaged. Yes, uh, in Mongolia. Okay, the bow. I mean, okay, everything has limit. Everything has a life. Of course, the home bow is life. Even a car, you, you drive the car for like ten years, it will. You know, like break. Yeah, you sure. Will break. Okay. Yeah. And but my homeboy is is is, is very functional, very usable. Mm -hmm. I mean, a guy in Mongolia, he shot my bow like a thousand thousand of, of arrows, and wow. and he took for years and years. So yeah. So uh -huh. no problem. Right. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, okay. So then you were you are now making making bows, and uh, did you start to make it for sale? Or just for for research and historical uh, bow making. Uh, actually, I have started a company mm. uh, in this year, but unfortunately, uh, because of this uh, COVID nineteen, you know, I cannot travel. I cannot bring my bow to to the event. Okay. Uh, your interview may be the first uh, first opportunity for me to introduce uh, to the public uh, my firm. You know, and, 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 and I have two, two other guys, you uh -huh. know, working together with, with three guys working together. Okay. And we have, I have developed a 
uh, uh, standard operation position SOP mm -hmm. to make to to produce homebot in quantities in oh, quantities you know right. we, okay. we, many people told me it's impossible i ask people from turkey it's impossible i mm. ask uh, they all say it's impossible but i done it we already have 70 boat made already wow amazing okay and we uh, have, we have how, made how, some how long how long is, how long did it take to make all these boats when did you start making these boats oh uh, a year ago a year wow one okay. year ago yes right right very good so please tell us about the, the company time. and 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 if there's a website or any information okay it's not not launching yet we're launching our our uh i say instagram first okay. instagram facebook everything uh maybe in the mid of this month okay good all right but by by people can check my fan page you know which is homeboats okay you know, it's just such a homeboats and i will i will announce i will give a message about the mm -hmm. formal message about how how we, we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it excellent yes. excellent and what 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 will be the the rough price range of the bows that you'll be selling okay uh this is uh like a sample of our product homeboats mm. this is homeboats and this is the standard size, and then this is a shorter size. So this okay. is tu it's, it's, Turkish style, Turkish bow. Uh, okay, or that's, di that's different the, ones. I, 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 I would like to address. Okay, it's the bow looks like this. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is yes. Rustan, a Persian. Rustan, Persian yes. Hero. Rustan, Rustan, yes, yes. Yes, and. This is uh, Mughal uh, Empire. Mughal, yes, okay. Indian, Indian. Ah, okay. So yes. you you and you you is... base you base the bows on historical miniatures, yes? Yes. Ah, okay, yes. Very but good. that would be the other part. At first, I will introduce my works now. Then I will talk about Turkish bow. You know? Sure, <laughs> sure. Okay. Says, Turkish bow. <laughs> no problem. Okay, and. Um, you know, um, maybe in the, in the ancient time, you know, mm. the tombow is popular. Yes. So everybody, I mean, every archer know how to how to how to use tombow. You know, you need to know how how the bow and balance. You need you need to know how to adjust it. You need to know how to maybe you know how to heat it and twist it. You know, the imbalance. You need mm -hmm. to know how to do that. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. It's easy, but you need to know how. This is why we are not uh, in a rush to sell our products because okay. we need uh, we need to offer our customer, our buyer, archers to to have uh, education, mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to learn how to how to adjust it, how to use it. We even giving them some uh, offer them some certificate of that and oh, okay, a bow a bow like that. You know, mm -hmm. this is about. Mm, only 80 centimeter long. Very small, yeah. And you can draw like that. Mm. See? I see. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the limb is the limb is really becoming flat when you get to full draw. Yes, it's kind of like uh, like that. <laughs> right. That? And yes, when, yes, yes. When when you look at the, the, these old paintings, okay, I have some uh, discussion with some the other boyers, all the other archers. Mm. They they told me uh, like, uh, oh, the these old painting they all make me they all make wrong, not yeah. correct. The uh -huh. boy they they pick things, it's not correct. Yes. You know, it should be like that, uh, correct. But I my question is, why? Everything is correct. Why his his dress is correct, his headpiece is correct, his right. horse correct, right. his sword correct. Everything is, is correct. Except Only the bow, bow is incorrect. incorrect. Mm. That's not nonsense. It's not 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 possible. It is correct. Okay. It's a good the point. It's a good point. Looks like yes, the ancient paint. 
for example, okay, like uh, maybe I, 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 will, I will say, I will address my, my, my point first, because sure. we are already, okay, this is a combo I made in 2005 or six. okay, wow. you see, mm. there's an angle yes. in the custom area, this yes. is very popular, everybody say Turkish bow, she like that, mm. but if we look at some uh, an, an, an antique picture or ancient picture, picture like this there is no angle and there's no in angle the in the custom yes custom area. there is no angle okay uh -huh. no angle so the bone should look like this uh -huh. look like that you see mm -hmm. this is this is my word it should be go one curve one smooth curve, curve right. you know yes mm -hmm. like that yeah, it looks and looks just like in the picture. Yes, and it's very, very, very efficient, very, very powerful. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, I don't know how it's come, but in the in the recent, maybe maybe in in in, in, in before after 18th century or 19th century, the Turkish people start making a boat with angle. Mm. And even the modern boat, home boat maker like Adam Kopevis. He thinks the bullshit looks like that. Mm -hmm. And every time he, 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 he talks about this ancient painting, he said, oh, they make a mistake. Um, okay, we, we talked about that before. Okay. Mm. But this is my, my philosophy, my idea. Yeah. You see that? To make a bow like that. Okay. Of course, I'm not an expert painter. I cannot do some uh, fine art on Detail, the bow. Yeah, sure, okay. sure. Yes, but I will do my best. I will do the best stuff. I put my best stuff on that. Yes, I yes. put the decker on that. Right. So, this is my first issue. Mm. And the second point is the modern bow maker, they make home bow. But what, if, you, if you take a look at the powder, they draw the home bow. You see? Mm. It's, it's not full draw. It's, the shape is not uh, dramatic. Mm -hmm. It should be drawn like this, very dramatic. You see right. that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Since you have horn, you have seen him. You know, if you want the full performance of this material, you should draw to that uh, extent. That point. Yeah. Okay. So you need to make a short bow, mm -hmm. very short bow with a very curved curve. curve you know, you know, uh, ears. Yes. And you can draw long, like a, mm, mm. you know, the arrow length may be the same, like like the the bow length. Okay. So if so, if someone this has if someone has draw length maybe thirty inches, thirty one inches, is yes. it still possible with a small bow? Yes. Oh. This bow only 90, 90 cent, eighty five centimeter. And mm -hmm. You can draw like that. Right, all the and way, yes. 30, it is no problem at all. Mm. So, um, this is this is an issue I want to talk about that because I have done it, okay? Yeah. I have experimented, mm. I have done it, and, 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 and it's success, and it will fit, you know, it, mm. it fits the standard for the ancient. Mm -hmm. So, I think this should be the correct thing, okay? And in our production line, this, there's a very special product I show you. Mm. Look at this bow. It looks like home bow, right? Like right. a Turkish style home bow, right? Right, yes. Surprise, it has no horn. Uh -huh. Bamboo. Oh, Bamboo very nice. Bamboo and, and, uh, wow. and the senior. Okay. Very nice, wow. So it must be very, very this light. Is, um, very light. Yes. Uh, 20, 22 pounds. Wow. And very light w physical weight. This yes. is, um, I think, I think, this is, I think, before uh, an archer using a real home bow, when he, when he used, uh, before using laminated bow mm. and modern material bow, and because home bow is quite expensive. Yes. So maybe he doesn't know how to do the, he's practicing and then he break it. 
Mm. You know, like 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 a lot of cases like that before. And so I'm thinking to make a cheap cheap bamboo cinnamon bowl. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it it reacts just like home bowl. <clears throat> you need to adjust it and balance the twist. You need to mm -hmm. learn how to heat it up and mm -hmm. adjust it. So you can you can use this bamboo cinnamon bowl as practice bowl to practice uh the the, the archery mm. press because it should exactly like home ball they feel exactly like home ball mm. and also you can practice the how to adjust how to maneuver how to how to balance a home ball you can mm. you can do both mm. and this is this is a lot cheaper than than real home ball and this I ball see. can draw like a 32 yeah yeah I can see. So, yeah so 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 this is this is a good option for people who uh, want to move towards a composite bow, maybe they cannot afford composite one yet, but they can practice on that yes. bamboo one, and then they can move on to yes. a composite one later. Yes, uh, but also my Prada, our Prada, the, the retailer, recommended retailer price, the real home bow, mm. were under 2,000, 1,000 something. We, we not decided yet. Do this is dollars, yeah? Yes, dollars. Dollars, okay. Okay. And a bow like this may under maybe like eight hundred US dollars, nine hundred US dollar. Mm. Like a bow like Interesting. And my personal work is is is, is like uh, the price like like a Lucas. <laughs> okay. Sure, Same. sure, sure. Four three four thousand dollars. This is my personal work. But I see. I think uh, yes. So so far. Uh, where have you sold? Because you said you haven't gone uh, online yet, but where have you been selling your bows? Is it mainly in the Far East or also in the West? Also in the West. Uh, I went to an uh, archery show, ATA, uh, this, uh, this year. Mm. Uh, actually, I met a guy in Florida. He bought uh, two, two bows for me, two home bows for me. And I also. Uh, say a bot to Singapore mm -hmm. and a lot of customer in Mongolia and in Taiwan. They oh. are collectors, serious collectors. Oh, I see. Okay. Because it's very expensive. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So they want to buy it just for collection or for for use as well? No, actually, uh, a guy, two guys in Mongolia, they use my humble to win the 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 sh fly shooting competition of Mongolia. Ah, okay, very good. Champion. One is Mohu, the other one, Alex Amia. Yeah, I want to ask you actually about uh, flight shooting and flight bows. You also make flight bows, yeah? Yes, 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 flight bow. Yes, anything, any any home bow with uh, with very narrow, tiny tips. Yes. Short bow. Short can be home can be fly balls. I see. Okay? I see. It should extremely light arrows, mm. right? and, and, and you have, you, have, you must be uh, very lightweight in the tip, very yes. short, right? And lightweight. Right. That is a fly ball. Yes. What what type of poundage? What what's the heaviest poundage bow you've made? Oh, over one hundred. Ah. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot. This is over my limit. Okay. Uh, a, a, a teacher, a teacher, uh, he's, he's original from, uh, from Philippines. He, he teach in a university in Taiwan. He bought two home balls for me. Uh -huh. He's a very powerful guy. He, he, bought, he, he purchased a ball I made over 100 pounds. Really? He, he's looking for heavy balls <laughs> until he, he finds me. I see, I see. Interesting, very good. And um, when you're making the, 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 the composite bows, what type of glue are you using? I'm using uh, fish blader glue. Uh -huh. Croaker, croaker fish blader. Croaker fish, yeah. This is, this, is, yeah. this is common, yeah. It's quite expensive now. It's, uh, when I start using the, the glue, it cost about, uh, about 2,000 US dollars per kilo. Wow. One kilo. It's a lot. Dry blader. Yeah. Two, no, no, 200, 200 US dollar per kilo, 200. Oh, okay, I was gonna say 2,000 okay. is a lot, yeah, 200. No, 200. Okay. Now, now it's 
almost 1,000. Wow. How, how, come it, how, how come it's gone so expensive? Why do you think? Uh, because, because the Chinese people like to eat it. Ah, I see. You know, yeah. after, after 2012, uh, they have a new law to ban all the, the, the government office officer to uh, have some uh, some 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 uh, wasting money you know that they yes. they, they the, the the shark shark fin shark fin yes they yes spend a lot of uh, but the the fish bladder still okay i so, see yeah what it's, what it's, uh, it's what other hard. what other uses are there for for this fish because apart from the, the bladder you know uh, bowyers have realized it can be used for glue. Are there any other practical uses for this fish or, or, or not? Do you know? Or they just eat in it? In Asia, it's mainly for food, mm. to consume, mm. like a medicine. You yes. know, like a, right. for, for example, like a, when, women, when women have a baby, yeah. after, yeah. and she, has, she, has, she will have some uh, wrinkle on her baby. Okay, if you, if you take, that a jet a lot of the fish bladder it will recover they say oh, i don't okay. know <laughs> I don't. <laughs> all right so, so some some cosmetic benefits i guess um okay so you um show us uh, sorry i wanted to ask about uh arrows or arrow making do you also do arrow making yes yes i show you my arrows Please show us some arrows that you have here this is an arrow with eagle fletching. Uh -huh. uh, just a wow. practice arrow. Very and nice. a okay. barrel taper. Yeah. This Turkish style, but also uh, same like, uh, and this is also mm. a practice arrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And eagle fletching. Very nice. Actually, actually, in the ancient time, they always uh, attach the, the fletching to the tip. You know, to the oh, end. Of, the, of the knock, yeah. Yes, yes, they always do that. Do you know they why? Do, do you know why? Yes, it's more efficient because you know that you you have to, you have to you have to, you put the the fin to the end. It's more efficient to correct. If it's a smaller see. one, small fin, it will correct easily. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. if if you, if you not put it the end, it was not as efficient as that. Oh, okay. And and you are you are either you are because you are uh, how you say you use some rain you know yes okay mm -hmm. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you the, you, you you snatch you snatch the feather yeah and you, you and release it go back it's no problem yes it's yes and harm not harm I see. okay so okay. it's so it's okay no problem at all did you did you ever try uh, um bamboo arrows Yes, bamboo arrows. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Okay, and all of the arrows have um, self knock, or you put a knock in. Oh, very nice. I put the knock in. I I take this is a horn knock, horn knock, on a, into a bamboo. I see. And actually, uh, you cannot see. I have put a liquor on it. This is a bone or horn, like ah. a Turkish style. I see. And then you just lacquered it, yeah? Covered it. Okay. Yes. Just two two plate, two small pieces of horn, you know, and the wood. Right, right, right. This is, this is uh, a lot of work. Yes, a I can imagine, and, I'm sure. And and uh, this is pine. Pine. Pine, pine. Pine okay. shape. Mm. Very, very hard. Very, very stiff. Yes. Very, a lot of, uh, you know, it's heavier. Yes. It's very difficult to do this this uh, barrel taper. Barrel, so, yeah. Oh. Show us. Do you have any um, any of the tools that you use for either bow making or the arrows? Do you have anything there? All tools in not here. In in my studio, I okay. have uh, you know the this, this tool to bind the rope. I have the tool of of combing. Uh, I can show you some of my Thumb ring I made. Please. Uh -huh. This is a thumb ring. Yes. Okay. I, I, yeah, I saw this one. Uh, I can't remember who showed one to me. It has the, the notch in the middle. Yeah? 
Yes, it's a his it's a look look. Yes, is that that's for the string? Yes. Yes, string is here. Uh huh. Uh huh. But this is uh, horn or this is bone or horn? Oh, no, no, no. This is, uh, I don't know if it's okay to say or not. This is this. Yeah, horn. A uh, whale, whale, whale tooth. Oh, wow. Okay. Sperm whale tooth. Wow. Okay. This, I cannot sell it. And I got it from um, an old Japanese collection. Really? You know, wow. the Japanese, they, they hunt whales the, a I long see. time ago. This is from yes. 1970s. Wow. So I cannot sell this. Of course. <laughs> and this one, okay, it's made from backlight. Like, For, like, uh, like, you know, plastic backlight. Oh, a plastic. Okay, yes, I see. I see. What, what type of thumb ring is this? Is, is it from a particular era, a style, this one? Uh, okay, i show you. Actually, this is uh, this is a design come from uh, a, a Ming Dynasty Chinese design. You know, the mm. Justin Ma he made uh, some thumb ring yeah. according to this diagram. Uh huh. Yes, right? I see. Okay, the essential of this diagram is this notch. Yes. Here. Right. This is right. essential. The the text the book the text say you don't have to follow this diagram. You make any any thumb ring with uh -huh. the notch make correct. I and see. this is called Si Jie Ji. They have a very special name, Si Jie Ji. So I tried it, this is perfect. And it this works very well, yeah? Extremely well. Mm. It's much better than and I, and my my old old style you know mm, um, mm. you do you also make thumb rings for customers as well yes but only the the uh the customer my humble customers only people buy my my works i see i see and i i i give them one for free uh -huh. so we cannot just buy a thumb ring by itself or arrows we must buy hornbow yes but I don't know how big is your hand. This mm. every every piece of this thumb ring are handmade. Yes, you it's have not, to you have to measure. A, you have to measure their thumb, right? I yeah. can make it smaller. Or we can make a smaller hole, uh -huh. and and you just make it bigger. When I you see. take when you have it, you have fire. You use a fire to make yeah. it, make it bigger to fit mm. you. But mm -hmm. uh. Not yet. I haven't done that yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. I see. No problem. Um, okay. uh, any other bows there that we did not see yet? You have any other bows that you did not show? Oh, a lot. Lots of bows. Okay. okay. I show you this. To show us all the different. This ones is you have. a. This ah. is a home bow, you know, with long ear. Yes. Okay? Wow. With long ear. Mm. And bone, bone plate. Bone tip and yeah. the link was colored by Taylor snake skin. Snake skin, yeah. And the yeah, and the handle yes. is covered by tiger pattern ray skin. Steam ray. ray. Oh, tiger wow. pattern steam oh, ray. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it is all coated with uh raw lacquers, natural lacquers. I see. Okay, this this lacquer is heat resistant and impossible to be uh, to be dissolved by any solution or thinner. Wow, this is really? wonderful stuff. Less thousands of years. My gosh, that's and, amazing. <coughs> How do, do you make the, that lacquer mix yourself, or is it something that is found naturally, or it's, where, where is it from? I I buy lacquers from a lacquer store here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I also buy the nature dye stuff. Okay, this is cinnabar. This is nature, nature color cinnabar. Mm, mm. It's not, it's not chemical. It's not chemical. Mm. And the gold color, the gold is is foil. It's gold guilty. It's not I see. pen. I see. I see. It's yes. Guilty. It's guilty gold. Right, right. And one thing very interesting I want to address. <coughs> you know this book. 
this for Saracen Archer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here's a famous, famous picture of this one. Uh, I remember. Okay. Yes. But the the text say this professor uh, David Nicole he has said that in 13th century mm -hmm. there's a there's a book military book in Arab war for <coughs> Atab Ahab Art mm -hmm. of War mm -hmm. Atab Ahab uh -huh. and he said he said okay he said uh, the 13th century Atab Ahab described the wider Used Khwarazmi bow, mm. which has long, long ear and mm. showed him with thick bowstring of horse hide, is considered inaccurate and wobby. So mm -hmm. he said the long ear bow before 13th century, mm. okay, he said it's not good. Mm -hmm. So they've been replaced by the Pav Pavanchi, Gan Ganzachi, Karuri and Lahuri bow of Afghanistan and Pakistan, uh -huh. which were per preferred by the marksman, which means a bow like this one has been replaced, you know, mm. this bow, the long ear bow has been replaced by, by the short ear bow, like a Turkish, we call Turkish style. Mm. But actually, it's not Turkish style. My theory is the Turkish people use this type of bow mm. To the best, to the uh, to the very end of the 19th century, uh -huh. all the other people, they they gone, no no more. Mm. Okay, but if you look at the ancient picture, the, the Mughal people, mm -hmm. North India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Persian, you know, uh, in in uh, who, uh, Turkey mm. and the country neighboring countries, they all use this type of bow. This is a Persian Persian. Uh, Zar, look yes. at his bow. Uh -huh. Okay, so I would say it, it, you always say Turkish bow. Turkish bow. No, this is mm. not Turkish bow. Mm -hmm. This is the bow widely originally from Afghanistan and Pakistan, according to mm. Atab Ahab, the book uh -huh. in 13th see. century military mm. uh, book. Mm. They say this bow has uh, is is a replacement of the long ear bow. I okay. see, I see. And it's more efficient to transfer energy mm. and preferred by the marksman is originally from Afghanistan and Pakistan. Okay, you, you, are you from Pakistan? No, actually, I, I know I do look uh, Asian uh, or Pakistani, but actually I'm from Africa. My father's from North Africa, my mother from South oh. Africa. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So this, <coughs> this uh, uh, 13th century book, Proof that like this type of bow is very widely used. Like today, mm. you know, you say uh, like uh, the main main uh, small arm, like AK forty seven M sixteen. Mm. You know, it, it originally from uh, from uh, Russia, Soviet Union, or from America. But right. It's everybody using that. Every sure. country, every people using using that. It's be all very because, widespread. Be be because it's very efficient and the way it works very well, yeah? yeah. So they, they adopted even, that one. Even a painting in Ming Dynasty in China, mm. they have exactly the same bow. Wow. You know? Mm. The Chinese people, the, the, the Turkish, of course, mm. uh, uh, Persia, yeah. uh, Afghanistan, North India, they yeah. all use the same kind of bow. I see. Okay? So I, I, I have to say, okay, I'm sorry. This is not originally from Turkey. Sure, and, sure. And, and, and then you say Turkish bow, maybe you, you see those bow in Turkey, you know, maybe, yes. you know, they, they, they are some uh, story about some, uh, some royal people, royal, royal uh, some, some count or somebody bring a Turkish bow to England. Yes. And they, he tests it. You know, That's right. Do you know yes. the story? Yeah, yeah, for the distance shooting, yes. So, because he brought the bow back from Turkey. Yes. So the they assume they the assume it's Turkish. Turkish. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, no, uh, of, of course, every every bow will go through evolution change, and you know, changing the limb or the kasan or the ears, they will always go through a type of change to make it 
perform better. But what you're saying is, if I understand correctly, is that what we understand today as Turkish bow originally was not Turkish bow, correct? No, no. Right. Originally from, according to Atta Aha, the book, yes. in the 13th century, from Afghanistan and Pakistan. Interesting, interesting. But, the long this, but, this, model, Asia. but this model of the Turkish bow, do you think, what is your view? Do you think it's the most efficient model of bow? Uh, I mean, if you need to define efficient. Okay, what is efficient? Mm. It, it depends on what kind of arrow you use, what kind of te tactic, what kind of strategy you yes. use in this. Yes. But yes. For example, uh, for uh, this Turkish, I said, okay, Turkish style bow. If you shoot like a short and, and light arrows, yes. it's very efficient. But, but for example, on the, uh, on the other side, the Manchu bow, Mm. It's long, it's heavy. If you shoot a bow with 35 inches long mm. and like a small dart, it's very yeah. heavy, but it's very efficient. I see. Okay. I see. Different tactic. Different tactics. So let's say, so, for example, for, for flight archery, do you think Turkish bow is yes. the best one? Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. This mm. design is the best one. Yes. Mm. For flight mm. archery, yes. What about, what about horseback archery? If you're shooting maybe 30, 40 yards, not very far, but you need to have, uh, you know, strong impact. Uh, the horse archery, I mean, basically, I think you need to choose a shorter bow. Mm. A shorter bow is, is, is more because, okay, another, another issue I want to say, mm. another thing about my research, okay? Yes. If, if you take a look at some painting, I don't have that, that painting now, okay? Mm. According to some painting, the horse archer, they can use both hands, right hand and left hand. Correct. Okay? Correct, yeah. I saw a painting, uh, there's an archer, he used his, his uh, uh, right hand, hold the ball in the right hand. Yeah. But his quiver, his quiver is right side, his saw in the left side. Right. Uh, obvious, he's original this left, way, yes, but he right switched this way. Yes. But the tricky thing is, you yeah. know, huh. when you when you when you change side, you don't mm. do this. Uh -huh. This is the whole thing. You don't do yes. this. Yes. You do this. Ah, you see that? You do this. Upside down. Okay. Yes. When you change side, this is right, this is left. When you change side, you do this. So does this that is mean the horse neck. That, yes, yes, I understand. Does that mean then when you switch the bow, you must have on the string, you must have two points for the arrow. Yes, yes. You, oh. you maybe you, you need to have another knocking point. Yes, two knocking another points. Knock, knock. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't, I didn't think of that ball. before. Right. And the ball must be balanced, not twist. Must be balanced, so it mm. should be uh, evenly, right and left evenly. So you, when you switch head, you do it like this. Okay. It's very efficient and best. Yes. If you if you do that, okay, if you say if you if you do that, yes. the whole snack. Yeah, it's in the way. In the middle. Right. Right. Yes. So you do that. Yeah. Okay, I have two questions okay. then. Um you you're saying that the bow must be balanced. What do you think of bows, even short uh horse bows or something? but they are asymmetric so the top limb is a little bit taller than the other have you made this type of bow and what do you think of it uh -huh. wow this is an asymmetric bow a bamboo a bamboo bow okay this is like this um, is also a yumi not not a like a, not a yumi bow though this is different no 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 not yumi I bow i see i see do you, this do you, is my design. Your, uh, your own design. Do, what do you think of asymmetric bows? Is, are they any more efficient? Because now yes. the center of the bow is, is, is different, isn't it? It's, it's not in the, right in the middle. There are two major advantages uh -huh. for the asymmetric bow. Okay. okay. Let me, uh, let me uh, okay, I'm sorry. The English is not my mother tongue. So, you have to Don't worry. Your English okay, is, is, is better than my Chinese. 
<laughs> okay, well, of course. Okay, first, if you if you put uh if it is if this is a symmetric ball, mm -hmm. okay, you have the you have the grip in the middle. Right. When you shot the ball, it will have hand shake. Uh huh. Hand shake is is intense. Yes. But if you if you move down to this position, yes, it's almost no no hand shake. No shot. Almost no oh, hand shake. Okay. No shot. Yes. Okay. This is first advantage. And the second advantage is that this ball is only 130 centimeters long, short, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you can draw to 30, 37 inches long, 28 <clears throat> inches. Yeah. Why? In, usually the bamboo ball is impossible to draw, like the, 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 that's, your, that's your ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you make a symmetric ball is like that. When you, when you draw longer, the upper limb bend more, so the ball is safe. You know, the, the right. lower limb will bend less. So mm. when you draw, draw a little, it's okay. It's okay. It's not mm. great. Mm. But, but the point is, when you release, when you yes. release, yes. the upper limb yes. and it's the lower slow, limb slower. is no, attached. Attached. They are attached by the string. Correct. Okay. But but do they do they do they do they do they come back at the same speed or a different speed because the the limb on top is longer? Okay. Listen to me. They come back different speed. The lower limb come back faster, but since they are attached, so the lower limb lead lead the upper limb. Yes. So the. The speed, the ball speed, the arrow speed was faster than a symmetric ball because of that. Because when you when you when you draw, the upper limb is protect the ball, not breaking. When right. you lose, mm -hmm. the lower limb leading the upper limb is go faster than a symmetric ball and mm -hmm. with no hand shake, no no shake. So this is two major advantage for a symmetric ball. So so just so I understand, you're saying the lower limb moves quicker. Then the upper limb is this right, or they move the yes. same? Okay, yes. so if if the lower limb moves quicker, <laughs> does it affect the arrow to fly like this, or the fl arrow still flies straight? No, because it's attached by the string. Mm. So uh, you you can say it's it's move the same sense because the upper limb moving back faster than it should be. Do yes. you understand? Right. The right. upper limb mm. moving back faster because the, the lower limb leading it. I and see. and the lower limb is moving a little bit slower than it should be because the upper upper limb is, is attached. It's so it, it's it's the same same same. Uh -huh. Same speed. Mm. The same speed. Mm. 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 But faster than longer limb. I see. Slower than shorter limb. Mm, mm. Interesting. Really understand. So yeah, 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 yeah. The meter so is faster than two long limb, long limb. I but see. But if you make a ball with two short limb, the ball will break when you when you when you put the ball will break. So oh. this is the advantage of asymmetric oh. ball. So 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 asymmetric is like best of both, best of both. Yes. Yes. Ah. Um, yeah. Did you ever make a Crimean Tata bow, Crim Tata? Yeah, this is a cream tata ball. Aha, that's the cream tata, yeah? Yeah, it's okay. long and that's uh, it's, it's like a cream tata, typical. Yeah. yeah. Now, the cream, cream tata is, is this very close to the Turkish style? Did it come before or after? Uh, I think they have, maybe they come at the same time. Mm. Because every 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 uh okay uh how can I this is this is uh about the bow design mm. this this is a bow with with uh uh how can you say it? set you know the 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 setback of this this uh the the handle handle yes yeah and this one no this one no it's they flat two different yeah. one is flat one yes. one's curving yes. in yes okay mm. okay the basically is if you want to draw a little bit longer, this design can draw a little bit longer. If mm. the bow is, is the same length, this bow will draw longer mm. than this bow. And because, I, because of the handle, you mean? Yes. 
because oh. the handle and right. this design the the moving part the body will take more stress mm. than that mm -hmm. interesting very interesting very interesting i think i think many people will um will have many things to say about some of the research you have and uh, the horn bow production but certainly i think this is um uh interesting topic for many people to to learn about and uh yeah. even people who are traditionally into horn bows and composite bows i think you have brought some new information um so i'm sure that uh some people will be supporting you other people will be saying oh no i think he's wrong or whatever but it's just, it's good to have dialogue you know it's good to discuss yeah yes yes i i i know i know that i've seen i've been that i've done that before yes 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 don't worry about it. what I'm, I'm okay i'm strong <laughs> you have uh, you have thick skin what what is the main criticism people give you about your research or your making bows or or, or your, your attitude for, for bow making? What, what's the main problem they have? Uh, for, for, the, for the bow itself, no, none. Mm. For my attitude, <laughs> yes. But a few years ago, yeah. I was arrogant. I was, uh, I have attitude. Uh -huh. so, but now I, I, I think I've changed. I, I, I'm more... <laughs> Calm uh, down. You know, more aged. Calm down. Yes, uh, it's it's not like that. But for, less less for ego. The, less the ego now. Itself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, this is good. This is good. I think, um, you know, even if we are correct, if we have arrogance or ego, you know, it's very difficult for people to to to, to speak with us and to get on with us. But I think it's it's much more better as you are now. Yes. Um, where you know. It's very clear that you know about making hornbows, um, very, very good make of hornbows, but we, we all need to be a bit less uh, ego, you know, which is, which is good. Okay, I have, to say, I have to say sorry to Mr. Stephen Selby here. Okay. About the event, the thing, the event in, in Beijing in 2008. Okay, mm -hmm. my attitude toward mm -hmm. him. I know he knows it. If he, if, he, if he saw it, he knows. But here I'm say, I'm sorry, Mr. Stephen Selby, in 2008 in Yanxi, who the thing I did to you, mm -hmm. my attitude. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the first time I say that. Okay. Thank you. I, Thank I you. hope you uh, forgive me. <laughs> I'm I'm sure I'm is sure that, I'm that, sure he, I'm sure he will. I I spoke with him last week. Um, he's a very knowledgeable guy, and he did actually mention you. Um, and um, uh, obviously, he didn't mention anything about any history, but uh, I'm sure he will appreciate the, the apology. And it's very good, very big of you uh, to be able to make such an apology, uh, you know, in, in, you know, online and for everyone to see. So, so thank you for that. And I will make sure that he will, he will see the, uh, uh, the video as well. It's a lot of, uh, lot of things people don't know about the, the homeboy. Even the, the, the handle, mm. okay, the handle. And if we have part two, maybe I will talk about the other research. Yes, the handle is not what you think, okay? If we have, oh. if we had, uh, if we had an antique, you hold the antique, mm -hmm. you know, you know, this is different. Mm. And the way you make handle is, it should be. Uh, uh, it should be uh, when you hold the handle, your 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 finger should be in in very good position, aligned. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, then you can you can you can use full power, not yeah. get injured. Mm. If, if you if you make a, a a handle make a wrong handle, mm. Mm. and you will be very easy to get injured. It's mm. not easy not easy to 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 make a. a, a draw the ball you will you will be difficult yes draw ball. you will injure yourself what yeah. what do you think about because ma many different bows have different handles i think in um in saracen archery it explains about you know uh this this grip where you have three fingers tight here and then these two is is loose mm -hmm. do, 
did you read about this and and does it affect uh, the handles okay that that is that is that is common that's everybody know that mm. is that in that book mm. and things people don't know is because i had a friend uh, in mongolia he had he had he had a 13th century mongolian book wow. uh, his name is Mohu. Mm -hmm. and uh, he put the boy in my studio for one year i done a research on that yeah and i also i got a, a cred bow the people from uh, my friend in australia uh bead uh, bead dwyer yeah bead dwyer. Dwyer. yes, yes. Um, okay amazingly when you hold this antique bow mm. they have the same same effect wow. it's not like what you think mm. everybody make mistake about about the handle but mm. since I, I i i talk about okay i don't care i, I just say okay <laughs> hold hold your hand like like this like like a fist like it's assume you're holding something like that okay mm -hmm. relax but but relax but look at look at your finger when you open that don't don't fall over. open that okay like this open that this look at look at your finger how yeah. how is a line look. one line it's one a line. straight line right one line right? straight line okay. this is this is your nature position uh-huh okay if you can make a handle when you hold the handle your finger in maintain in your nature position is mm. is the best mm -hmm. like this when you hold hold it and you eat like that i see but if you make a if you make a uh like a manchu bow handle no it's it's incorrect it will be like that uh-huh uh -huh. i think it'll be like that i hold see like that yeah like that it would, the, the this is not mixing i make this for early i don't know that this is not correct ah, it's, it's i see will hurt you. especially the bow is very heavy you draw that and this finger and the here uh -huh. and here uh -huh. you will feel uh connection it, it is a uh it's a ancient chinese medicine theory right they say I see. it mm. will hurt your heart really your heart, uh -huh. will hurt uh -huh. your heart. yes <clears throat> interesting because your pinky finger but mm. will hurt. Mm. You, it, if it draw heavy bow, this is no good. So the best handle is when you hold the grip, your finger uh. is in your natural position. This is perfect. So the, okay, in, when you, so the in, up, inside inside of the bow handle is flat and the outside is no. slightly open, no? Uh, the handle can come with all different shapes. Mm. But when you hold it, it go this position. Oh, I, I I've been okay. holding this antique antique Mongolia bow. Yeah. The shape is different, and this uh, crab bow. The different shape, but you you got the same alignment, same position. Mm. Your mm. finger. So mm. even the bow is hundred pound, it's easy to draw. It's it's not it's not. Um, you won't you won't get hurt injured mm. by mm. your your yeah finger. yeah. Um, last question for you, you are how do you minimize hand shock on a bow okay uh you make the tip smaller okay sorry first first what what causes hand shock and how do you minimize hand shock <laughs> you mean you mean the tech shooting technique or no the in, bow in the the bow itself okay okay uh you make this this part as light as possible, mm. okay? And mm -hmm. it will it reduce the shake a lot. If you make this heavy, huge one, so when you look at my my bow here, mm. it's very thin, very small. Yes. Very small, very very small. It's only maybe one centimeter, but this bow is sixty pounds. Sixty pounds, it, yeah. No, mm. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> to make a bow with this thin ear uh -huh, with 60 uh -huh. pounds, 70 pounds, but mm. it's okay. Mm. It's fit the ancient standard. So the first thing you need to do is you, you make a bow with very small, small end. Okay. They call uh, uh, acceleration, you know, acceleration. Yes. yes. Stamping acceleration, the critical damping. Yes. You know, something like that. It's a difficult terms. 
uh, okay, <coughs> so it, it makes it small. Mm -hmm. And the second, the second way is shooting technique mm. to release that. Which, which is when you shoot, yes. you, you need to know to like a, like a, a uh, we, we call, in Japanese archery, we call tena uchi, uh -huh. in the hand. So you need to, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but in Chinese we say xie li. We, 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 uh, we, we, we can uh, alleviate, or yes. the, we can reduce the handshake by your skill. Which I is, see. When you see. So do, do you mean, you know, like in, 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 in Turkish style shooting, the, maybe the khatra, like moving the hand like this, or with the kudo, yes. they, they turn the hand out? <coughs> You do both. You mm -hmm. do both. You have two torque. Mm -hmm. One and two. One, two. Yes. So when you release the boat, they jump to this position. Yes. Like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The turkey, the turkey is like this. It yes. has one one torque. Yes. Snack. Forward. But it Forward. also twist. Snack, mm -hmm. twist. And when when release you lose and you catch. Back. It's all going to the arrow. Uh -huh. All the energy, the arrow uh -huh. will go faster. Mm -hmm. faster. This is a technique mentioned in, uh, in Wang Ji's text. It's 1,300 years ago. Archery wow. text. Wow. wow. Yes. And, uh, and you, 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 you were able to research these texts and you have them with you or you just had access to them? Uh, I had the text. Uh, mm. This text actually in Stephen Selby's book, Chinese Archery. It's very clear oh. text there. Mm. And mm. You, you have to understand. And before, a lot of people make mistakes. They mm. just rule and they lose the hand. Like, like the, you, that you see some, some, uh, some modern archery contest. You know? yes. like we need the ball go and it go back. Yes, yes, but yes. But actually, it's not the text. It's a the, the air, the the upper limb go with the arrow. This is this is verb with mm. go with the arrow. Arrow go and, and upper limb follow. So it's okay. it's, it's it's a motion. Mm. It's motion. It's not it's not static. It's mm. moving. It's, mm. it's, it's it's like a. So it's, it should be like that. Right. Like that. I I like see. That. Yeah. So, Interesting. A, Interesting. But but this technique, uh, go to Ming Dynasty. Mm. The other the other uh, the other research research researcher. They, mm. It's not necessary. Mm. It's a it's a, a going, say, Oh, you don't need to do that. This is too much. You, you just hold the bow steady and and, and and that's it. You yeah. don't do that because it's it's. It's extra. It's, it's, it's you don't need. You don't, mm. you don't need to do that because mm. maybe you don't need. You don't have time to recover. If you're on the battlefield, you need to recover. Mm. But for mm. the second arrow, if mm. you do that, you need to recover, right? Mm. So just one arrow, second arrow. You don't need to recover. Yes. Just, just hold it back there. Like yeah. like a Japanese Japanese archery for the foot. The foot soldier they do this. The horse archer they don't they don't flick the mm. Mm. they don't flick. Right. If you do yeah. on foot, you flip. Uh huh. If you do on horse, you don't flip because you, you need you don't have time to recover you don't have time. for the right. second arrow. Correct. Correct. You don't have time. Yeah. Um, have you done any speed tests, uh, chronometer tests with your bows? Uh, I, I will do that. Not mm. yet. Okay, so not yet. I will okay. do that. No, because I'm sure some people will be interested to know. The speeds my, that the bows can reach. One one of my friends he brought back uh, one of my uh, product like uh, uh, one month ago he tested uh, with with uh, eighteen gram gram not gram gram yes gram eighteen gram error. Mm. Uh, the speed is two thousand about two hundred twenty feet per second. Ah, very fast. A small a small bow like. Like this ball, and uh, about about 35 or 40, 40 pound ball. Wow. And okay. Two, so not, not even, yeah, not, not, not even very heavy ball. Okay. That's good. That's interesting. That's interesting. But it's, the arrow is light. 
Yes, light arrow. Light arrow I understand. Like sure. Sure, sure. Uh, Yuha Zan, it's been very, very interesting, fascinating to speak with you. I think we will plan part two at some point. We will talk about uh, more about okay. the ha handle. We, we can maybe look in your workshop. You can show us some of the bows during the production. Um, show us some of okay. the tools you're using uh, and learn more about the research you're doing. But um, thank you so much for your time. It's been very, very interesting. I'm sure this video will get a lot of uh, attention and comments. Um, so we will see what happens. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> I, will, I will make sure I send it to all of the important people, you know, Yap and uh, Bede and Justin Ma and Stephen Selby, Peter, Dreck Peter Decker, all the important people, Morat, everyone. And I would like to hear their views as well. Um, but it's been very, very interesting. Thank you for your time. And uh, we, will plan, you. we will plan the part two very soon. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Good day. You. All right.